the bull shark, one of the most ferocious sharks of all. There are only about five types of shark that elite humans as prey. Great white, tiger, oceanic white tip, and mako being some other human eaters. And don't forget, there are over 400 species of shark. Yeah, and of all those, the bull sharks are one of two shark species to swim up freshwater rivers. And they can survive in freshwater forever. Although, they do have to go back to saltwater eventually since most of their prey is found there. Uh, is it my imagination or is it coming closer? Do you think it's called a bull shark because of how big and beefy it is? Or is it their explosive personality? Or because it charges like a bull? <gasps> Ah! That's it. Ah! Oh, he's coming back. Whoa! Ah! Scatter! Oh, hi. I think I need your help. Activate Basilisk Towers! Looks like my little brother needs a little help. And I might need your help to help him. Yeah, my Pelican Power Disc. Uh, hey! What? No, wait, that's mine! Uh, I need that to activate Pelican Powers. Basilisk Powers are for sprints, not open water marathons. Gotta get to the Tortuga. Ah, but I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm coming for you, Chris. With Pelican Powers! Ah! Oh. Thanks, but we still gotta get out of here. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> Time to fly! <laughs> You were right, Chris. He was escaping the predator. That great white shark! Whoa! The Octo just said, eat this, and shot a cloud of ink into the great white's face to mask his escape. He didn't only take off to escape. His ink has chemicals that are poisonous, even to him. Oh, it did a super job of irritating the shark's eyes so the octopus could get away. Oh, add an ink defense to the octopod, Aviva. Oh, yeah, we need an ink defense. Ooh, how's that gonna help us find the suits? The octopus has it for a reason, so the octopod should too. It worked great for him because the shark is gone. I spoke too soon. <laughs> the shark must think we're an octopus. He's chewing on us. Oh no! Ugh. He might bite through the power line. Then we're going down with no way up. No better time to test my jet propulsion feature than now. It worked! Woo, way to way go, to go Viva. Viva! Awesome! Thanks, guys! underwater trench is full of bizarre new creatures. Move over, Jacques Cousteau. Chris Kratz heading for the record books. Now hang on, pal. Just let me get some footage. Ah, 
but the sea monster has seven arms. <gasps> oh no, it's seven! But how? I don't know, Martin, but he just caught an act of mackerel. Somebody has to make it to the mainland to get help. And because I'm the swimming brother, that should probably be me. I'll swim for it! and a half meters. That's the largest predatory fish in the ocean, right there. But what is she there for? What gets cleaned at these cleaning station doohickeys anyway? She does. Yeah, check it out. And he's the guy that does the cleaning. Well, him and his buddies. Cleaner, Cleaner fish! fish. Hmm. Oh, and she's pulling into the station. The body position. It's telling the cleaner, Raz. Please clean me! I may be a shark, but I won't bite. Promise. And the fish version of a dentist says, no problem, that's what I do. They're picking parasites from the shark's teeth and mouth. For them, it's food, so it's a good deal. Sharks, rays, and all kinds of fish line up at these cleaning stations. Suckerhead's making his move. He's on! We better get in there. Okay, here we go. Hey, Sharky. Sharky? Uh, how about Razor Mouth? Look at those teeth. Yeah, well, whatever. Sharky, Razor Mouth, just go easy on us, big girl. Just want to find out more about you. Whoa, you can see new rows of teeth coming in behind the old ones. Oh, yeah, those teeth never stop coming. We only have two sets of teeth and that's it. Sharks, just keep growing them. Uh, and look, sharks get loose teeth too. What? Got it. Wow. They're serrated with those super sharp ridges on the edges, just like a saw. Those teeth are serious slicers and dicers. Chris, look out, we're drifting. Oh no, a current. It's pulling us off course. Yeah, and on course to be her main course. I hope she's not hungry. If she is, we're about to be shark bait. Whoa, please don't close your mouth. Please don't close your mouth. Uh, woo! Close one. Time to meet this mission head on. Engaging head sucker place. Steady, steady. We're about to make contact. Three, two, one. Yes, we've landed. The first successful mission onto a great white shark in the history of creature adventuring. Yay, we did it! Mission control to Remora Sub. Well done, guys. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, we're, we're stuck, stuck on, on sharks. sharks. <laughs> well, it looks like we're getting a turtleback tour of the reef. Hey, there's Blimpy the Blowfish. Oh, yeah. And our old buddy Ocean Pony the Seahorse. And hey, there's, uh, I don't remember him. Yeah, that's because he's somebody new. A, a tiger, tiger shark. shark. Whoa! Hold on tight, Chris. I'm holding, I'm holding. Ah! Chris! Whoa! The tiger shark is gaining! Whoa! Oh. 
Whoa! Our sea turtle is using his shell like a shield! And that's what I'm gonna name you, Shield! <gasps> But how long can Shield keep this up? Look at these teeth. Based on size, Tiger Shark's jaws are even stronger than the Great White Shark's jaws. If that shark gets the shell in his mouth, or a flipper in his mouth, Shield is done for. Shield has another plan. I hope so. That was close. <sighs> and another great defense for the Hawksbill sea turtle, hiding in the reef. Yeah, and that's why Hawksbills are reef turtles, so they can use the coral reef structure to feed them and hide them. Yeah, the shield defense is great when a Hawksbill is caught out in the open, but the surefire plan is to hide out in the protection of the reef. Hey, Aviva, did you catch that turtle power action? Oh, yeah, they saw it. So, Aviva, you up for a little turtle power suit programming? Uh, yeah, that was incredible. Nice shield work. I never knew sea turtles were so maneuverable. We saw it all thanks to the amazing fish cam. Hey! I guess I made the fish cam a little too fish-like. Maybe a little. Shark! Never swam so fast, so maneuverable. I'm like a torpedo. Guess I was too much for him. Uh. Oh. Whoa! 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 <gasps> uh oh. Just kidding. Nice sharky. Are you up to now? Buddy, you're acting strange. Why are you stuffing a sponge into the sand? A dolphin who likes to clean up? That's a first. Weird. It's almost like she's poking around for something. Looking for something. Hmm. Echolocation engaged. Who can find it first? Whatever it is. Nothing but sand underneath more sand. You sure there's something around here? Amazing! That sponge she uses is to protect her nose when she shovels in the rough sand. Hey, I was just about to find that fish. Communication alert! We're having trouble getting a read on Martin's location. I had a signal, but it's disappeared. Disappeared? How is that possible? I don't know, but last I picked it up, it was to the east. Let's head in that direction, see if we can find him. Yeah, we'll spread out. I'll head this way with an echolocation search. He's still out there, Whistle. Yeah, I know, sharks and orcas. They're your only natural predator, especially for baby dolphins. Oh, I'm still not able to transmit from inside this wreck. Maybe if I could just get out in the open a little bit? Whew. Or maybe not. Oh, so much for my creature pod. Oh, good idea, Whistle. Maybe dolphin communication will help us get out of here. Let's just hope someone hears it, and soon. 